Welcome to Stanford University and our inaugural Women Leaders in Global Health. There is no shortage of talented women in the pipeline, but the picture looks different at the top. With every step up the ladder, the proportion of women shrinks. So where are the women? Well, in fact, you are here. Uh, in fact, women are everywhere in global health. The structure of barriers are largely traditional, but also women themselves don't give themselves permission to be the innovators that they know they are. Get less modest, less demure, and that means you scream, you shout, shove that modesty in the back drawer, and put your big ideas out there. A year ago, when we conceived this conference, we had no idea how amazing the response would be. It's truly struck a chord. I want to see a more gender equal world. I want to be seeing women like myself in leadership positions. And what was so important at this conference were the young women's voices. We get to hear from women like us, but women who are doing amazing work for other women all around the world in incredible ways. And the best part is they're just getting started. I am Nicole Bates. I am a female leader in global health. I'm a Fanny. I'm a lecturer. I'm a researcher from the University of Ghana. My name is Sarah Rominski. For the past decade, I have been working in the field of global health at the University of Michigan. My name is Joya Sasira. I come from Uganda. I'm a lawyer. My name is Annette Moyo. I'm a postgraduate year two doctor and future surgeon from Zimbabwe. Women have to be in a leadership role if our institutions are to effectively serve the broad populations they are obligated to serve. We all know that diversity wins. When we have diversity, careers flourish, companies prosper, outcomes improve. Uh, share your stories. Mentor at least one young woman. My sincere hope is that this conference is not a one-off, that we actually end the day with tangible actions um, to go forth.